As the Mississippi River flows through Minnesota, there are good spots for fishing, kayaking, or just taking in the view. Yeah, there's one place an hour outside the metro where the view can be especially colorful. It's where you'll find two separate gardens right next to each other that are known for more than their beauty. A U.S. president got one of them started, and a love story created the other. Tonight, we visit a park that's come to be known as the Jewel of St. Cloud as we go finding Minnesota. For all the focus these days on technology and speed, <laughs> there are still people who take time for moments like this. This is our one year anniversary of dating, so we decided to spend it outdoors because it's so beautiful out. Jesse and Carmen chose a spot with a rich history and a peaceful view, the Munsinger Gardens of St. Cloud. I just love that it's so close to the river and you, this is probably one of the um, closest paths in St. Cloud where you can get so up close and personal with the river. It's a place of contentment that grew out of the Great Depression. The park superintendent at the time, Joseph Munsinger, tapped into the Works Progress Administration, or WPA. So what President Roosevelt did at the time was to start this WPA and send all these young men and women out there to start building parks. What they planted here in the 30s has since grown into a towering canopy with gardens thriving below in the shade. So more hostas, more ferns, you're gonna find New Guinea and patients down here, just all the shade loving plants that you're not gonna find up top. Up top are some newer gardens that are sunnier and more formal. Gardens with a romantic backstory. Yep, that's his house right there. Bill Clemens and his wife Virginia had drawn comfort from the nearby gardens as she endured a long battle with multiple sclerosis. They donated millions to create a European-style park next to the existing one so Virginia would have an even better view from her window. Oh, he's m the most generous man you would ever meet. He's just a sweetheart. He adored her, and in order to prove it to everybody, he built this beautiful place. Her middle name was Rose, oh, oh. and that's why they have her pointing toward a rose garden back there. Giving that gift of love, the gift of the garden that the public gets to enjoy, his wife got to enjoy from across the street for so many years. It's just amazing to me. He's an amazing man. Virginia Clemens died in 1998, and her husband is now in declining health. But their legacy is here in what are now known as the Munsinger Clemens Gardens. When I was growing up, it was just a big lawn. And now it's beautiful and it's filled with tons of different flowers and people come from all over the world to see it. Now, workers are now in the process of planting 100,000 annuals, which they hope to finish by the 4th of July. They say the most colorful time to visit the gardens is probably the end of July. But no matter when you visit, there is no admission charge. It's absolutely free. For more information or to send me another Finding Minnesota idea, just go to WCCO.com links.